Hi everyone, I'm Meral Shahin. I'm a global solutions architect in the automotive team, supporting one of the biggest OEMs in the world. Hi, I'm Jeff Phillips. I'm a senior software development engineer in the AWS IoT automotive team. Hi, I'm Francesco Salamida. I'm principal SA for the automotive industry. Hi, I'm Nena Dilic. I'm a senior developer advocate specialized in IoT. Today, we will be demonstrating how easy and cost effective it is for automotive consumers to collect, transform, and transfer vehicle data to the AWS cloud in near real time while allowing deployment and management of vehicle software remotely. Traditionally, automotive OEMs collect data from the vehicle in a manual way, and they transform the data, store it or not store it at all. The amount of data automotive OEMs ask to collect is ever increasing. For ADAS, autonomous driving use cases, every single day from every car, large amounts of data needs to be collected and stored. With this demo with IoT Fleetwise, we want to show you how you can move the decision if the data is meaningful from the cloud to the car. With IoT Fleetwise, you can create rules based on certain conditions that is significant for you before storing the data in the cloud and so optimize cost. Now we are going to show you how the configuration of the vehicle software can be done remotely and at scale using the automotive best practices and state-of-the-art technologies. Over to you, Nenad. Yes, so in order to simulate a car, we use Carla, which is open source simulator, which provides us with the diverse sensor suit, including vehicle speed, acceleration, brake pressure, collision, intensity, and GPS, among others, while allowing users to interact with the system and perform a virtual test drive. Uh, the simulated vehicle is providing those signals over CAN and are being consumed by the NXP Goldbox running the AGL Build Linux and acting as a vehicle connectivity box. So Jeff will go and explain about AWS software and what we have running on a connectivity box. On the connectivity box, we have AWS IoT Greengrass running AGL, which allows us to remotely deploy packaged software components and manage their life cycle. In this specific environment, we have the AWS IoT Fleetwise Edge agent deployed as a Greengrass component. It is using the Greengrass IPC client library as a proxy for communication with the AWS IoT core. This simplifies the configuration of Fleetwise as the Greengrass handles the provisioning of credentials and allows the configuration of Fleetwise to be updated remotely. The Fleetwise agent is used to inspect CAN signals from the vehicle network, which in this case is coming from the Carla simulation running on the PC. The agent collects data based on the campaign that the customer defines for the vehicle in the cloud. This campaign specifies which signals to collect and under what conditions. The conditions can be time or event based, and the event based conditions are specified using IoT event expressions that allow a customer to trigger collection based on the combination of one or more signals. In the cloud, Fleetwise enables the customer to create a unified model of signal sources across their entire range of vehicles and configure the decoding of CAN signals by quickly importing the DVC file for a specific vehicle. After the data has been collected, the agent sends it to IoT Core, where it is sent to Amazon Timestream. So once the data is in the Timestream, the customer can use SQL to perform data analytics at scale and deduct insights from the fleet of vehicles. The example here on doing data analytics is using Amazon Manager Grafana, where we look at the specific signals in real time and analyze their different aggregations over time. Over to Francesco for some insight about the CDK uh, uh, and what we have in the GitHub. 
yes, the demo setup can be reproduced by yourself using the code that is published on, on a new GitHub Amazon organization called an AWS for Embedded Linux. You can find the link in the code repository in the description in section in this video. In there, you will find a number of CloudFormation stack written in CDK and, of course, a step-by-step -step instruction document. In addition, it would be good to call out that we have also written a CDK level 2 construct for the IoT Fleetwise, already available on GitHub, that can be used outside this demo and make it easier to incorporate this new service in your workload. And now over to Jeff for a live demo. On the left hand side we have the Kala simulation and on the right hand side there is Amazon Managed Grafana which is currently plotting in near real time the data collected by Fleetwise and transferred to Timestream. Currently the campaign deployed to the gold box is a heartbeat campaign and you can see in Grafana that the data is continuously being plotted. The Kala simulation is currently running in autonomous mode and you can see that the vehicle speed is going to zero when the car is stopped at a traffic light and is going up to 30 kilometers an hour when driving. Now Nenad will take manual control of the vehicle using the steering wheel and shortly we should see that the vehicle speed is increasing above 30 kilometers an hour. There we go. While heartbeat campaigns are very useful, they will of course incur data costs for the customer. As mentioned earlier, Fleetwise also supports event-triggered campaigns that will only collect data from the vehicle when the condition specified by the customer occurs. In this demo, we can select a brake event campaign that will only collect data when the brake pressure goes over a certain limit. So that campaign is being deployed to the gold box and we should see that the vehicle status changes to healthy when it's deployed, which it's just done. So now we should see that no data is being collected and only when Nanad presses the brake pedal does data get collected. And you can see in Grafana there's a gap in the collection followed by the deacceleration event. That concludes this live demo. Awesome, thank you. Many thanks for listening to us until the end. If you like this video, please thumbs up and feel free to share this video with any automotive and IoT enthusiasts that you may know. If you have any questions, don't forget to add it in the comment section and we will get back to you. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.